Honestly, game changer, love it, brilliant. I think it's well built, I think it's very cleverly designed, it works fantastically well. Solar panels, power diverter, solar panels, power diverter. And there's a 10% discount code. Hi, welcome to Home Farm. Today we're reviewing the Immersun Power Divert. So before we start, we do want to just say that our little cat Leopold is nestled into the cushions behind us and he's fast asleep. So we're going to leave him in peace and not disturb him. So if you see any movement, that's who it is. Before we tell you any more, we should also just mention that there is a 10% discount code on the Immersion Power Divert, which adds up to a really good amount of savings. So we'll put the details in the link below. So the Immersun Power Divert, as the name implies, is a power diverter. So that means if you've got solar panels, if you've got maybe a small wind turbine at home and you're producing excess electricity, instead of sending it to the grid, you can use the power divert to try and do different things with that electricity. The most obvious and simplest way of actually utilizing this power diverter is to heat the hot water in your hot water cylinder using your immersion heater. That means that if you have got a wind turbine or solar panels, all of that excess electricity could just be diverted to heat your hot water. In order to do that, you need to attach a little clamp that comes with the power diverter to the actual electricity mains cable that comes into your house. The clamp's actually intelligent. You don't have to position it one way or another. It actually determines which way the electricity is going. Cool. Uh, so as soon as the electricity is being exported, that means it'll actually kick the diverter in and reroute that electricity to whatever application you want to actually use it on. Because each and every single home is different and your requirements are different, we'll actually explain to you how we've actually connected ours. Uh, because it's a very specific way. Our hot water cylinder is in the utility room and our consumer box with the actual mains electricity comes into it is in the hallway. So they're separated quite a distance apart. If you're lucky enough to have both of those things in the same room, you only need the power divert by itself. You can actually use that then to connect directly into your hot water cylinder. Because our consumer unit is about 10 or 15 meters away from the actual hot water cylinder, you need to get a wireless sensor. So we connected the wireless sensor in the consumer box connected to our live wire and the power divert is actually located in the utility room next to the hot water cylinder. These communicate wirelessly. Uh, the actual connection between the two is completely seamless. Once one was activated, the other one connected almost immediately. And the actual setup of the Immersun unit itself was really, really easy. So when we moved into the property nearly five years ago, we put in solar panels and we also put an air source heat pump in. One of the actual installers said to Mars, have you actually heard of a power diverter and have you ordered one? We'd never heard of it. We didn't know what they were. And he just happened to have a spare in the back of his van from a previous job. And he offered it to us for free, which was really generous of him. Obviously we had nothing to lose. So we said, yep, that would be great to go ahead and install it. We had no idea what this thing was. And he explained it to us and subsequently we just obviously had it in the house and it started working. And it didn't require any input from us. That was a solar eye boost. And I have to say, it really was a massive surprise to us because when we were being sold the solar panels and nobody had mentioned this to us, that we could have this diverter, which would really be amazing in the fact that our hot water would be heated from our excess solar. So fast forward to this year, and we started to have a few issues with the solar eye boost. It wasn't really working properly. And quite honestly, I'm not entirely sure how old it was when the chap installed it for us. It did pack up and we decided, okay, we need to replace it. And so Immersion actually reached out to us and said, would we like to install and try their power diverter, which is the power divert. So they sent that to us, which is really very generous of them. So huge thank you to Immersion for doing that. And that's what we've now installed and obviously replaced the solar eye boost with. We expected it to be great because we kind of knew the concept and we knew from the previous years that it actually does work and it's a very cool concept. But this has actually almost kind of leveled us up mm -hmm. a notch Definitely. because it has been so incredibly cool. So before we get into all the coolness of the actual power divert, we installed it ourselves. And the reason that we did that is because we already had everything wired up and ready to go. So we simply removed the eye boost, replaced it with the immersion, we put the clamp on. Now, if you're doing this from scratch though, it is highly recommended that you actually use an electrician to do the job for you, uh, because it can be quite technical. But because we installed it ourselves, the thing that really stands out is just how cleverly designed this immersion is. They've designed it for simplicity for the installers. And I've got to say, it's, I don't think it's something that a lot of companies do, uh, but the fact that they've taken the steps to do that uh, really does speed up the actual installation and the simplicity of that installation. 
So for example, because you're often working in very tight spaces, it's quite difficult to get in there and to kind of contort and try and get wires in. You can actually wire everything outside. They've got these clever little clamps that you basically pop the cables into, put the immersion up on the wall, get in, you just basically just clip them into place and you're up and running. And they've even made mounting the actual unit really easy. You can just put two little holes in the wall, it basically slides on, slides off, as opposed to actually hard drilling it into the wall to make it very difficult to get off in the future. I just really like the simplicity of the installation. Yeah, and I would also say that it's not just the simplicity of the installation. The simplicity actually goes also to the way that it's actually physically designed aesthetically. Yeah. It is really, it just looks really smart. It comes in white, or ours came in white. I don't think it comes in any other black. colors. Oh, black as well. Our white one is just really nice. It just looks really clean. The box is just kind of really, uh, just a nice shape, isn't it? It's very nice designed. And even though ours is kind of hidden away in our utility room cupboard. Quite honestly, if it was in the wall in the utility room, it would still look very smart. The one thing that really surprised me was the size of the actual power diverter. Mm -hmm. It's actually quite big and quite heavy. And you'd think that, it, you know, it's actually quite simple that, you know, you're just having to divert some electricity from the mains to the actual immersion heater. But there's a lot of tech that's actually gone into this unit. So in addition to the wireless sensor and the actual power divert unit itself, you can also opt for an additional extra, which is called the Immer link. It's basically, as the name implies, a link to the internet. So what this does is it basically connects to your router and it allows you to actually access your data from your power divert via an app. We struggled a little bit to get the Immer link working on the first day. I tried to connect it several times. Uh, every time I connect, it just says uh, it couldn't find the actual unit itself. I gave up on the first day. Went back the second day, magically have found it and has been working ever since. Having the Emerlink running along with the app is definitely a nice feature. It's not a must have by any means. Uh, it is just handy to be able to get that information from your phone. All that information is accessible on the actual Power Divert unit itself. It involves you having to go use your finger to scroll up and down through the menus. It gives all that information to you, but it is a little bit difficult to interpret at times. The app actually does all of that for you and you can actually see how much energy you've diverted and how much money you've actually saved. So another really nice feature with the power divert is that you can connect it to two appliances. So what I mean by that is you can connect it to the immersion heaters we have. And if you've got another appliance that utilizes electricity sporadically, just with excess solar production, you can actually connect it to that. This would be ideal if your hot water cylinder acts as a buffer store, for example. So you can actually connect the first connection to your immersion to heat your hot water. Once that's up to temperature, you can actually divert the rest of that electricity to maybe heat up your buffer. So it just gives you a lot more functionality. And if you're wondering just how warm can your water really get from your solar panels, believe me, it can get really, really hot. The first day that we had solar and we had the immersive power divert working, I went upstairs and turned the tap on to have a hot bath and literal steam came out of the tap. The whole bathroom filled with steam. I said to Mars, oh my God, our hot water has never been this hot. Yeah. We still had hot water before, don't get me wrong. It was, you could draw a nice warm mm -hmm. hot bath, but this is like hot, hot. I mean, this is like steaming hot and we've never had steaming hot water before. And it is incredibly satisfying to get into a hot bath and sit in that steamy, lovely hot bath and think, wow, this has just been done by the sun today and I haven't paid for it. And it's been nice, clean, free energy that I've utilized. And I don't know, there's something very rewarding about just sitting in your hot bath thinking, yeah, this is all just solar. It's an excellent point, actually, because the iBoost, even though our immersion heater was set to the same temperature, never actually got to the same heat. We would often get to about 60 degrees. This one pushes it beyond that to about 70. And that is on the immersion heater being set because most immersion heaters, you can set three different settings. So we turn ours down during the summer. During the winter, we crank that up as high as we can so we can actually utilize as much of the excess electricity to drive our hot water. So to give you an idea as to whether you should consider getting a power diverter in or not, we've got a 6.16 kilowatt solar panel array and we've got an air source heat pump. So the air source heat pump does consume a lot of our solar production during the winter, but there are certain days when we do have a lot of sunshine around and we do have a lot of excess electricity. So to get us to the point where you can have your nice hot steaming bath, if you can have about four kilowatts of excess electricity on a given day, 
that drives our immersion heater to get our hot water up to about 70 degrees centigrade. Yeah, I am just a huge, huge fan of this technology. Uh, honestly, it is embedded in my brain now, just solar panels, power diverter, solar panels, power diverter. <laughs> so as soon as we're speaking to anybody about solar panels, or if they're thinking about putting solar panels in, I'm not the person who asks about the, what kind of solar panels they're getting or how many they get. That Mars asks all those questions. My first question is, are you getting a power diverter? Are you gonna heat your hot water for your solar panels because it has just been so incredible just how actually kind of almost life-changing it is to just think that you know hot water is just provided to us and I think especially in these last couple of winters and this winter in particular where there has been such an incredible heating crisis and you've got a lot of fuel poverty that really gets driven home just how important hot water is in the home. I mean, it's not just a luxury. It is something that really is a necessity. What I've noticed with the Immerse Sun is that it does not require the whole day to be sun. Mm -hmm. It can literally just be such a short period of sunshine. And it's amazing that even with those small doses of sunshine throughout the day, it adds up and it can make a massive impact on your heating bill for your hot water. So I think it's just for me an absolute given. If you're looking at getting solar, really seriously consider getting one of these things and speak to your solar installer about where it can go and you know your array and what's suitable for your home but really seriously think about extending your budget to be able to include this because i really feel mm -hmm. strongly that it is one of the absolute most essential benefits of having solar panels again that's a great point because i found that the immersion is actually more dare i say aggressive than the eye boost in terms of the the heating as so our hot water, as we said earlier, does get a lot hotter, it gets hotter a lot quicker. So I just don't know whether it's more efficient in the way that it reroutes that electricity. Yeah. But we've definitely seen a big, big difference. The other feature that I really like about it is that you can actually set up a monetary value to the amount of uh, savings that you're making. So you can set up your electricity tariff and every day you can go to the actual unit itself and you can see how much money you've saved that day. If you're thinking about getting an immersive power divert and you have questions, want to ask Mars maybe how he installed it, where he installed it, how it's rigged up, anything to do with our solar panels connecting to it, then please, by all means, leave a comment below and we will definitely get back to you. So all in all, I've actually been quite blown away by the immersive power divert. Mm -hmm. I think it's well built. I think it's very cleverly designed. It works fantastically well. Mm -hmm. And I've got absolutely no hesitation in recommending it. Well, in fact, we have already recommended it. We have yeah. actually spoken to some friends who are actually going to be doing an installation of uh, some solar panels and we've already sent them the link and everything. <laughs> so yeah, we're definitely fully on board with this product. We think it is absolutely awesome. It does what it says it's going to do, but even better. It is one of those few products that has actually exceeded expectations. So huge, huge thank you to Immersion for sending this out to us. Honestly, game changer. Love it. Brilliant. Keep doing it. If you'd like to get more information on the Immerse and Power Divert, we've put the link in the description. And there's a 10% discount code which adds up to a fair amount of savings, so we'll put that below as well. So I hope that you have found this video useful and interesting. If you did, please give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in our next video. Thanks for watching.